so dear students in our last section we have seen risk processor risk design philosophy as risk is the basic processor which is used in arm so arm design philosophy today we will see pipeline that is used in risk so we know that risk is responsible for providing reduced but very efficient instructions so for speeding up the execution process the pipeline concept is used so what is pipeline pipeline is a mechanism in which the instructions can be executed in a fast way pipeline is a mechanism a risk processor uses to execute the instructions because of uh, this pipeline our instruction uh, execution speed gets higher and that is the main advantage of pipeline using a pipeline speeds up the execution because we can store the instructions into the pipeline and as they can be executed one by one by using pipeline the instruction execution speed is high so we can see in this particular diagram there are three phases fetch decode and execute fetch loads an instruction from memory we have seen in the architecture that there are two types of memory main instruction memory and data memory so whatever instruction is present according to priority that instruction is loaded from memory by using fetch next is decode decode identifies the instruction that we want to execute decode is responsible for identifying the instruction that will be executed next is execute execute is responsible for execution of the instruction and after executing whatever result is there that will be written back to the particular registers so by using these three phases of pipeline the instruction execution speed gets high we can see over here fetch is responsible for fetching means uh, loading the instruction decode is responsible for identifying the instruction that we want to execute and execute is responsible for execution of instruction as well as whatever result is there that should be written back to the particular register so in pipeline it shows the sequence of three instructions we have seen that is fetched decode and executed by the processor these sequence will be continuously followed in each and every cycle in pipeline and that's why each instruction takes a single cycle to complete whenever your pipeline is completely filled so filling the pipeline is a very great process because whenever your pipeline is full each and every instruction will be executed in a single cycle we can see in this particular diagram this is cycle 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 now we have fetched the instruction in the next page it is decoded the another instruction is added in the next phase it is executed another instruction is moved to decode and another instruction is moved to fetch so because of that the speed gets higher and the pipeline gets full after filling the complete pipeline each and every instruction is executed in a single cycle pipeline length increases amount of work done reduced and it allows the processor to attain a higher operating frequency as this pipeline helps us to speed up the execution process to execute the instruction in a single cycle the pipeline length whenever is in in the increasing mode the amount of work done gets reduced because we are in, uh, executing the instructions in a single cycle so as the pipeline is getting increased our work is getting reduced and because of that whatever processor is there it is having the higher operating frequency the system latency also increases because it takes more cycles to fill the pipeline before the core can execute the instruction the latency of our system also increases why because for filling the pipeline in the per, uh, for filling the pipeline it takes more cycles before execution of instruction because we have to fill the pipeline then it will be getting executed so the system latency also increases in the pipeline process arm 
uses the average 1.1 dry stones mips per megahertz and whereas it is having the throughput of 30% compared to arm 7 we have seen starting from arm 1 now these uh, the families are increased so according to that the throughput is also getting increased so arm 9 is also having the greatest throughput than the arm 7 arm 10 is having the greatest throughput than uh, the arm 9 and arm 7 so it is uh, beneficial because the ARM processor as we have seen when we have seen the ARM design philosophy that the code can be uh, used for other processors that is the main important advantage of ARM. So code written of ARM 7 will execute for ARM 9 or ARM 10. So whatever code is there present in ARM 7 that can be executed for ARM 9 as well as for ARM 10. So whatever the complexity it gets reduced and our uh, task gets uh, at the higher throughput in arm 9 and arm 7 because your work is reduced because you are having already the code and we are running that code and getting the highest throughput so this is the particular uh, pipeline by using we can improve our uh, because we can see over here the pipeline length is increasing our work is getting uh, reducing and we are getting the higher throughput so pipeline executing characteristics an arm 7 pipeline has executed an instruction only when the fourth instruction is fetched whenever the pipeline is full means when the instruction is in the particular execution mode means whenever the instruction is fetched so it will be moved to decode then it will be moved to execute then another instruction will be added then same process will be done so when the fourth instruction is phased from the memory then the instruction is executed and for that MSR instructions are used to enable the IRQ that is interrupt request interrupts it clears the I bit in the CPSR to enable the IRQ interrupts CPSR is nothing but current, pro pro current program status registers we have seen. So I bit is clear to enable the interrupt requests for in the pipeline. It is in the execution stage the PC that is program counter always points to the address of instruction plus the 8 bytes. This is important when PC is used for calculating the relative offset and characteristics across the pipelines. This uh, particular uh, address of the instruction plus 8 bytes is important whenever we are calculating the relative offset. When the processor is in thumb state, we have seen there are various states. So whenever the processor is in the thumb state, the PC is the instruction address plus 4. So whatever we are having, the PC will be uh, having the instruction address plus 4. The execution of branch instruction by the direct modification of PC causes the ARM core to flush its pipeline. Whenever the branch instructions are directly getting modified, the ARM core will be flushed its pipeline. ARM 10 uses branch prediction. As I said, the ARM families are getting increased and there the plus points are added to each and every ARM. ARM 10, user, ARM 10 uses branch prediction which reduces the effect of pipeline flush by predicting the, all the possible branches and it loads the new branch prior to execution of instruction. So it reduces the effect of flush and it loads the new branch address prior to the execution of the next instruction. An instruction in the execution stage will complete even though an interrupt has been raised. So, Though the interrupt will be raised, but the priority will be given to the instruction which is present in the execution stage. So first that, execute, that instruction will be executed and then the priority will be given to interrupt. So this is nothing but the pipeline that is used in the RISC processor. By using pipeline, the speed of the instruction execution is, gets higher and that is the main advantage of pipeline. Thank you.